Hello all, welcome to the VoIP Traffic Analysis course at Pentester Academy. Now in this video, we will continue to investigate SIP over TLS and SRTP traffic, but this time around we'll see how we can use T Shark to go ahead and do the decryption. So let's jump right in. Now in the last video, we had already fed the SSL key setting inside Wireshark and all the three PCAP files we have in here, which is the call to voicemail, conference call three parties, and normal call two parties, uh, actually on the server side use the same private key. So we should pretty much be able to open any of these three PCAPs in Wireshark. And if we go ahead and apply a filter for SSL, you would actually see that SIP gets decrypted. So this is important. Uh, keep in mind because it's the same key, there's really no extra work to be done here. And you can look at SIP flows and all the other stuff which we've done before, right? So you could select this, you know, you could get your flow sequence diagram, or you could click on play streams, and you could play streams as well, right? If it were able to show everything. Okay, the same is for normal call two parties as well. So if you basically do SIP, you would end up seeing that this is actually inside the secure socket layer. And you should once again be able to see SIP flows, should be able to look at RTP streams. So this is analyzing any one of the streams and if you can play it, oh, this will actually show up here. So keep in mind that Wireshark has a bunch of plugins. So some of them may not always work as desired. And if you notice this actually doesn't work as desired. Uh, the good news is the PCAP to wave stuff which I've already shown you that will actually work perfectly for cases where Wireshark itself is not able to handle it using its own plugins. Fantastic. The key thing though is once we recover the encryption key, everything else is exactly what we did before. So now, how do we actually do this decryption using T Shark? So one of the important things to note is T Shark will automatically pull in Wireshark settings. So the place where we mentioned the key file when we went to edit preferences, protocol, SSL and added the SSL key list, that actually gets stored inside the user's local preference directory for Wireshark. So if you go to .config Wireshark, you'll actually see that there is an SSL underscore keys file which is here. And if you look at that file, you would end up noticing that the file has the entry which we actually put in, right? So till the time this file is around, if you run T Shark, say normal call two parties, and let's apply a filter for SIP, you'd actually see that it merrily decrypts it. Uh, we could go ahead and even print statistics on RTP streams and it'll be able to figure everything out, right? Both for normal call two parties. We can even run this for conference call. Works perfectly. However, let's actually just cat that file once again. If we remove that file, So actually, let's make a backup copy of that file here in the same directory. And we remove that file. And if you run the same t -shark commands, they actually miserably fail, right? Uh, and the key reason really is that because right now there is no preferences and there is no way T-Shark can figure this out. 
So the way to solve this is by using T shark dash G and picking up the current prefs specific to T shark. Let's actually do a grep over SSL. And we would find that the SSL keys list is an option here. So all we have to do is specify this option with the dash O for option. SSL dot keys underscore list. Paste it here. And then copy out that line which we had in the file. Seems to be a really long file. But you know what? Why don't we just look at the files in here? Yep, there we go. So SSL dot keys underscore list. Then all we need to do is to take this line as is, paste it here, and then we can run our query, for example, filter for SIP. And there you go. Now all the decryption and everything works just like we wanted. So RTP streams, right? Fantastic. So actually do this for the conference call one as well. There you go, right? Great. So you can see this is how we can use T shark to actually decrypt SSL traffic uh, once we have the private key. So this is all I had in mind for this video. In the next video, we will look at combining everything that we've learned and going ahead and decrypting a single stream for SIP over TLS plus SRTP traffic using our PCAP to wave combination. So that's all I have in mind. If you're enjoying the videos, please recommend us. Thank you.